Hello, and welcome to Slightly Impressive Expansion Hype. My name is Grifter, and we are vlogging about Legion. Okay, so I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit behind here, but I wanted to wait until we got the extra information from their, their developer Q&A or whatever it is they were going to do. Turns out that wasn't really necessary because we didn't get much more information at all. But just right out of the gate, I'm really excited about this expansion. Like, just the whole thing in general. I think it's going to be great. I'm really excited about it. Um, there's a few things I'm not sure about, and we'll get into that. But let's just start off with what I'm the most excited about, which is Demon Hunters. I think this is what everybody pretty much is the most excited about. Um, I didn't think they would ever add Demon Hunters just because they seem really similar to a rogue. They're like a rogue mixed with a warlock, kind of, and they've, they've like given the traditional Demon Hunter abilities to other classes. So that's always the arguments I've heard anyway for like, eh, I don't think they'll ever add Demon Hunters, but they found a way, I guess. And I think it's going to be really cool, like especially seeing the um, the the gameplay footage they showed, like the attack animations and the abilities they have. It's going to be so awesome, like jumping around and like zooming through people and doing damage and shooting laser beams at them and just a double jump. <laughs> it was funny how double jump was the thing that got the most cheers, like... I don't know. I, I can't really see that being especially useful. It's just like a really fun thing to do, right? Like, are, there's not going to be raid mechanics where they're going to be like, okay, you now you have to have a demon hunter here to double jump over the firewall that comes through and um, deactivate the fire or your raid wipes. Like, they're not going to do that. So, I don't know. It would be cool, though, if you can, like, double jump out of AoE, maybe, like ground AoE. I don't know. I don't know what kind of uses there would be, but it looks really fun. And I want to play one right now. I want it now, Blizzard. Just just give it to me right now. You could just not even release the expansion and just add the Demon Hunter class. I would pay $60 for that, and I would feel like I got my money's worth, honestly. I mean, you, you pay $60 for a character boost, and <laughs> I feel a little ripped off when I do that, but I still do it anyway because I'm lazy and horrible. Uh, we're getting derailed. Let's let's just move on to. The, oh wait wait wait. Um, I think some people, some people don't really like that it's only elves. I like. I mean, I like night elves in general, obviously. And um, of course, they they have to just be elves, like for lore purposes, at least starting out. They have to just be elves. Like you're awakening the Illidari, right? The actual demon hunters. Um. So it, it would be stupid if if it was like, okay, you can be a zombie demon hunter or a panda demon hunter. Like, that would be ridiculous. So um, I think they've said, like, maybe in future expansions, you know, the demon hunters can teach their demon huntery ways, assuming we don't just lock them back up. Like, that would, that would be ridiculous. They're like, okay, and the demon hunter class is gone because they all have to go back to prison. Oh, oh, I did want to say I think it's hilarious, though that you get this really awesome, like, this kind of evil, shady, like, dark, powerful class, and the Horde has to play them on Blood Elves. <laughs> it's just, I really enjoy that fact as an Alliance player. Um, I enjoy the tears of people who are are having this, this moral struggle of, do I really want to roll a Blood Elf to play this class? The answer is yes. Yes, you do. Moving on now. Okay, um, I'm just I have the Wowhead list of features up here. Um, okay, Demon Hunters artifact weapons. Okay, um, I have a whole range of emotions about artifact weapons. <laughs> um, at first, I was like, "All right, Ashbringer," and then I realized, "Oh, that's for paladins. I don't like playing paladins. I'm never gonna have an Ashbringer." But uh, on second thought. I think it's a little bit weird to have these established lore weapons that haven't been usable weapons be everybody's weapon. <laughs> like, every paladin has Ashbringer, and yeah, you can customize it to look differently, which I think is really cool. I like that idea. But I don't know about, like, I feel like maybe they should have just made new weapons and not not tried to use old famous weapons, because some classes are going to have just made up weapons, right? Like just new ones. They're going to be like, yeah, this is the really famous dagger of... 
and uh, really, really important rogues used it to kill people once, and now it's yours. You're good job. You're a hero. Also, it's a little bit weird to change the look of Ashbringer, right? Like, it would be strange to be this paladin who has bestowed the Ashbringer and be like, all right, it's pretty cool, but I want it to be purple. <laughs> so, and I think it would look cool with spikes on it. So we're going to do that. Yeah, Ashbringer. Um, another thing I'm a little bit... I'm not really sure about with the artifact weapons is um, the talent system, the way they've done it where it's basically just another talent slash glyph whatever system with your weapon. And I don't know, every time they add something like this, my, my reaction is always like, well, this is just going to be one more thing that I have to go look up, right? This is... this unless they manage to do it in a way where it's like you really do just get to customize the way you play and things are actually balanced but I mean that just seems impossible like there is going to be a mathematically superior way to go and that especially sucks if the way your weapon looks is tied to what talents you choose for it you know because then everyone's just going to end up with the same thing no matter what there's going to be a best weapon spec and that's what everybody's gonna have. So I hope they, I hope they do something a little bit different. I would prefer that it was just cosmetic, honestly, um, and didn't affect your actual gameplay. Like you could do a special quest to make your weapon look a certain way, and that makes everybody have their customizable weapon, even though everybody kind of has the same weapon, uh, or at least everybody in the same spec. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to see how that turns out. My initial reaction to that though was like, ugh. One more thing I've got to look up. Like, they keep getting rid of things like reforging and stuff to make it simpler, and then they just add something to make it more complicated. Like, they just keep going back on what they were doing. It's weird. Um, class orders is the next thing on my list here. Okay. Class order halls. I think this sounds really cool. Like, I think it sounds way better than garrisons. I still would prefer guild halls over this. I think it's weird that they don't just do guild halls. Like... When they talked about garrisons, that's what I said. It was like, well, this is really cool, but it would be better if it was guilds and not an individual thing. This is taking a different direction that I didn't expect, like grouping you with your class. And I think that's better than having your individual garrisons, but it's still... I don't know how much community there's going to be among your class. Like, I, I think most people at this point in the game don't have, like one class that they really identify with and like like I am a druid or whatever and so you're in this place with other druids and like this is a druid player and we're gonna be druid friends you know I think it's more like well I ha I'm playing my druid right now so this is the class order hall I go to and when I'm here there's other people who are playing their druid right now um, and I know some people just play one class and really identify with that and that's great but I don't think that's how most people play at this point. Uh, it's not how I play anyway. Um, so I don't know that it's really going to be a community thing, but I think from just like a like just a role playing kind of flavor to it, um, I think it's cool to have this place where you go and it's like it's it's themed for your class. Like I like that they're doing that a lot. They, they're saying that's a, a main focus of, of what they want to do with this expansion is giving the classes more distinct flavor because they've kind of gotten away from that. Like they got rid of class quests. They've got rid of a lot of things that make it feel different to play one class over another versus just what role you are in the raid. Um, so I think that's really cool. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, they're still going to have a follower system, but they're saying it's not going to be like a Facebook game like Warlords of Draenor was, where it's all in the UI. I never really liked that. Uh, missions got old so quickly. and uh, But they're saying it's going to be more stuff like you're going to go out into the world with your followers, or they're going to go scout something and then you're going to go see what they did, or something like that. I don't know. They're going to involve you in what they're doing instead of them doing the fun things for you and you just watching it in the UI and collecting loot. Uh, because, like, man, honestly, <laughs> looking back, it's like, why did they ever think that was a good idea? Why did they do that? <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Um, moving on to the next thing class changes. Um, the only thing I really know much about is they, they've talked about how survival hunters are going to be melee, 
which I think is interesting. I don't play a hunter, so it doesn't really affect me all that much. But um, I think it's I think it's a good idea. What they're trying to do is make each spec, uh, especially the pure DPS classes, making them feel very different instead of just, well, you've got three different specs where you're a hunter with a pet, you're shooting arrows or a gun, and it's just your rotation that's changed, basically. Um, I like the, the idea of having, like, a spec where you're just an archer, a spec where you have a pet but you're, like, a stabby melee guy, and, and one where you're an archer with a pet with a lot of focus on your pet. Like, that's cool. That's three completely different styles. Um, they said they're going to do things with warlocks uh, to make them a little bit more different. And I don't know. I, I've wondered about rogues, like... Rogues have three specs that are basically just sneak around and stab people. Like, they're obviously a, a little bit different, but what are they going to do with that to make them feel very different? I don't know. Um, uh, that's all we really know about class changes, I think, right now. So we'll just have to see what they come out with. Um, the story and setting is the next thing on the list. Um, it was really confusing at first, I think, for pretty much everybody. It was like, are we going back in time? Or you keep saying it's the bones, the bones, they're the bones. Like, what does that mean? They're the bones, the bones of like, of this ancient night elf civilization. Does that mean there's still night elves running around there? Um, I read something about on Wowhead, uh, something about like it's a new race, a different race of elves that have been doing their own thing there. So that's interesting. Um, and there's lots of just elf stuff, which I find really cool. Um, I think a lot of people might find that weird. or Not weird, but like just not very interesting. Um, but there's other stuff for you. There's like Vrykul stuff, and um, I'm sure there's going to be orcs doing something. Like, don't, don't even worry about it. Um, I think it's really cool. Like, Suramar, I believe, is the name of the raid. Uh, it looks really awesome. We're going to see the Emerald Nightmare, the Emerald Dream. There's going to be all the Norse stuff, like going to go to Helheim on a ghost ship. Like, that sounds so awesome. All this stuff sounds really cool. And then, I mean, the zones look beautiful, what we've seen so far. Um, I'm sure the questing will be really good. Uh, the last several expansions, at least the last three, have had really good questing. Um even if like the rest of the expansion maybe wasn't as good. Um, I've enjoyed the, the questing experience on all of them a lot. Okay, so next thing we're gonna go to is the PvP honor system. This uh, honor version three, they're calling it. Um, I Okay, one thing I do really like about this is the prestige system. Prestige system, lesion, wow, lesion. Okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> the PvP, the prestige system, I think it's a really interesting concept to have, like, you gain power and then you have this choice to sacrifice power for some cosmetic rewards or, like, bragging rights and then go through it again. It's basically like raiding on multiple difficulty levels, right? Where you go through it on normal mode and then you can start over and it's hard again and you go through on heroic mode and i know that's not really how it goes like you kind of bounce back and forth you don't like do all of one and then do the next one but it's the same kind of concept i think i think that's probably what inspired this they wanted something like that for pvp where you sort of level up through this and then or you progress through this and then you start over again but you're like you have more, you've accomplished something, you have something to brag about here. I think that's a cool idea. Um, it's a little weird, but I think it might work out pretty well. The thing I'm, a, I'm not too sure about is, again, the new talent system for PvP. And it completely depends on what kind of stuff is there. If it's stuff that just adds totally new abilities to every class, I think that's going to make it really difficult to get into PvP. For, like, people who mainly PvE and just want to PvP a little on the side, that's going to, people like me, that's going to make it really difficult for us to get into it, because you'll have to go learn everybody's talent systems. It's not like PvE, where you can just learn your own and be really good at your class. In PvP, you need to know what everybody else is doing, too. Like, or you're gonna get totally blindsided by this new hunter ability that has like a grappling hook that flings you across the map or something. I don't know, that would be totally ridiculous. <laughs> like they should not do that. But um, 
I don't know, it seems like it's just going to be kind of a pain. You have to go learn all this stuff. But I have thought for a long time that it really does need to be separated more, PvE and PvP, as far as how the classes work. Because, you know, the, a lot of times what happens, and people complain about this all the time, is an ability gets nerfed because it's OP in PvP, but then that hurts people in PvE, and that hurts your class, uh, like, on the meters there, because this ability got nerfed for reasons that had nothing to do with rating. So, I don't know how, I don't know how often that actually happens anymore, but um, everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people have thought for a long time that it would be better for abilities to just work differently in PvP and PvE. And they've kind of been inching towards that for a long time, with crowd controls and things like that and I think this is just another step for that so maybe it'll work out really well I don't know I'm not a huge pvp -er, so my opinion maybe isn't that important on this um, it's certainly not like a make or break thing for the expansion for me like I said it's like just give me the demon hunters I don't even care if anything else is good as long as the raids are decent I'll be happy but even if they're not, like, just, just give me the Demon Hunters, okay? Profession updates. Okay, we don't really know anything specific here, but they have said they want professions to be more important. Um, they're going to have quest lines and stuff, which they did in Warlords, but everything was tied to the garrisons, which, again, um, I can see why they wanted to try that. And, okay, you tried that. It's fine. It ended up being terrible, and no one liked it, so don't do that again. But um, I think... You know, I think they're on the right track there with wanting your profession to be... I want professions to be part of your character, like, almost as much as your class. Like, not maybe not almost as much, but a, a good part of, like, the character you're playing. Like, I'm a shaman, but also I'm, uh, whatever, a blacksmith or an engineer or whatever, and that changes... Maybe not how you play, like, in a raid, but it changes how you play your character in general in the game. Um, through all the social elements and things so I think they need to get more toward that or at least giving you like sort of like lore flavor I keep saying things like that but I don't really know how else to say it um, to to what you're playing um, and I think that's pretty much all there was that's all we know so far they really are being tight-lipped about things this time around and they actually said in an interview somewhere that they're doing that on purpose because I think they made a mistake with Warlords where they said too much too early. They talked about a lot of features like they were definitely going to happen that maybe weren't set in stone yet and they ended up not happening and that was really disappointing. That um, that really hurt that expansion like from the beginning and it just sort of <laughs> went downhill from there where we sort of started out with this sense of disappointment because we had all this hype from BlizzCon, and then all these features kept falling away in the development. And we ended up with garrisons that weren't very customizable. You couldn't put them anywhere you wanted. Um, your buildings were almost predetermined what you were going to have. And I think, and you know, like we didn't get to go, we didn't get our capital in Black Temple. There's just a lot of things. Um, so they don't want that to happen again. And I think that's a really good decision on their part. So. We'll just have to be patient. But expansion looks really good. And man, I want to play a demon hunter right now. So I think that's about all I have to say. Uh, let me know what you think of the expansion in general. And that's about all I have. So thanks so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Okay, bye.